Hi everyone, it's Susan here for SusanWinter.net. Thanks for joining me. Today's discussion is how to correct bad behavior without discussing it. I know, I've given you a lot of instruction on the importance of discussing it and the importance of rebooting your partner and ways to slap them back and reroute them. But today, I want to discuss another technique because my goal for you is that you are a sophisticated dater and partner, that you have a number of options in your tool belt that you can use given the circumstance and the situation. Not every bit of bad behavior needs to be nagged or talked about or you don't want to beat them like a bad dog. It's just counterproductive and You'll often notice that the more that you point at a situation, say, this is wrong and this is bad and I don't like this, it becomes this gaping wound and then you're both uncomfortable. So let's find another tactic if and when you need it. There may be a time in your relationship when you learn a really good lesson. That is that we pick and choose our battles. Anyone who's been in a long-term relationship knows that this is absolutely essential. Not everything is worth going to the mat for. That way, the irritations that are what you have with a person day in and day out get swept by the underneath the rug. And what's really important is what you focus on when a correction needs to be made. So, how do you affect a change through the action of not speaking? Very simply, we reward what is wanted. We ignore what is unwanted. Now, let me clarify because I don't mean ignore as in you ignore the situation. You are going to withdraw your attention and your praise from your partner. Let me start first with the reward. So you've heard me talk about cookies. I'm a huge fan of reward and appreciation in a relationship, but for things that are real, honest, and times that you, you know that your partner went out of their way to show loving kindness to you. The reason we give praise and accolades to our partner is because we want them to continue this behavior. Human beings are no different than a puppy. They'll sit up and get their treat if they know what they're supposed to do and when the treat is coming. So we reward every bit of good behavior with verbal praise, with kindness, with touch, with appreci appreciation, with a hug. We want our partner to know that we acknowledge everything they do for us. You know, the number one reason people cheat, really, it's not about sex. It's a lack of appreciation. So if you want your relationship to go really well, as a maintenance, so you don't have to have problems, give those cookies and give them routinely. Not for nothing, it's gotta be real, okay? We reward what is good. However, we turn away from what is negative, meaning we turn away from our partner. There is no praise and a slight physical time of withdrawal is not bad, meaning we retract ourselves, our physical being, we retract our praise, and it will be palpable to your partner that first you're here and you're kind, now you're not here. Believe it or not, the animal inside them is going to figure this out very quickly. I do this, and my partner's really great. I do that, I'm not getting a reward. See, you don't have to beat them, you don't, you don't batter them, you don't nag. So I have a friend that doesn't have a lot of tools in his tool set, okay? I call him the hammer. He's got one technique to affect a change. He just beats you over the head with it. And I kept telling him, look, you need a couple different tools because this is tiresome. Not only that, every situation is unique and every partner is unique. And what works in one partner may not work on the other. You need selection and you need variety. You need finesse, okay? So... When we ignore what's bad, it doesn't mean that we are overlooking it. It doesn't mean that you are, you know, going into denial. It means that at that moment in time, that day, that situation, instead of calling your partner out, instead of rebooting them, you have chosen to retract. That's a perfect time to go out with friends, um, take a walk, go for a run, go to the gym. Uh, go to the library if people still do that. I mean, go do whatever you want to do. Physically withdraw from your partner. 
you will notice without even saying anything about it, they're going to want to know where you were. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. And it's not the, oh, nothing like I'm not going to tell you. If you want to at that point, you can make a very brief statement. Yeah, I didn't like it when you did this and that. And then you stop talking. The point is that we don't make this an issue where they dig and dig. This is just a little bump and they're going to notice it. Okay? Try this. Praise always. Reinforce what you want to grow. Starve what you want to die. And I hope this helps you. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. And please, I need your ideas for topics each week because these are for you. So write me and let me know what you want to hear about. Tune in to the podcast, uh, The Susan Winter Show on iTunes. Thanks a lot. And I hope this has helped you to become a wiser and more proficient dater.